How about a blast in the past? This is a saw that's been sitting in the retirement shed for a while. You may remember it as bling saw. And I haven't run this in quite some time. I think it'd be fun to see if we can get to start. Ooh. One thing I can say about this saw is it is a beast. I had forgotten what a monster that saw is. But my ability to give it a good run and a test I think just came to an end. We'll put it back together with a different chain, clean it back up. But I think you got a, a sense of what it's about. Now what I originally was planning to do before 
fence wire intervened was to run that saw against a 288 and a 390. And uh, so far my day is not going as planned. <laughs> we'll see if we can do better next time around. CC saws, yeah, they're a little heavier, but you can probably tell they make some serious horsepower. These are awesome saws right here. All right, I gotta shut the camera off, change the bar over, and we'll try the 288. All right, let's see if we have enough gas in the 288 to get a couple of cookies. I'm gonna let it warm up. Now, remember, it's not broke in, and I don't have it tuned as sharp as it could be, and I'm not gonna until it breaks in a little more, you know. I'll run them a little bit fat until they get a little more time on them before I uh, tune them to a little crisper configuration.
think you'll be able to see from the times this thing is very quickly uh, picking up power as it breaks in. And I, I, like I said, I'm not going to lead it out until it has a little more time on it. And I have a few more heat cycles on it, but I will probably put a tank through it before it goes back to the people who uh, sent it to me. Sometimes you wonder how much you've really gained with some of the new saws when you run a saw like this one right here, is all I can say. is. While it may not be quite as um, quick to pick up RPMs as a 390, when you really get into the cut, uh, this is not that far off. It's not quite the 390, the times I think will bear that out, but it's not as far off as you might think. And they're heavy, rugged, old professional level saws that have made a lot of money for a lot of people for a very, very long time. I wouldn't be afraid of one of these. I've got my 281. This is the 288 version of the same saw, but I think I'm going to let it sit the way it is. I wish I had the bar and chain for my bling saw ready because I think you'd be surprised. That saw really barks. <laughs> saw. I didn't get a chance to get as good a cut as I'd like. I had this bar and chain that had some time on it. So it's not quite as fresh as the other one. But it'll give you an idea. This old saw rips. And I think I'm going to run this saw for a while. I like it. That's what I think. So anyway, hope that was fun. I'll put together a quick video. I'll make a couple of other points in terms of how they weigh the 288 feels like it's a heavier saw this one weighs about the same as my uh, 390 does this is a little bit more now we can go through a whole bunch of the different comparisons between this and the 288 because there are similar era designs the steel 660 which this is a, a copy of has the internal clutch with the external sprocket this one has the external clutch with the internal sprocket, which is harder to change the bar and chain. So I like this style more in the 390s. Internal clutch and then the external sprocket right there. I can tell you with the bar and chain, they feel about the same kind of weight. Obviously, this is a more modern saw. It'll be a faster saw than the 288, but that saw and this saw, I don't know. I think that one there has a little bit more power. Um, unless we had the same bar and chain combos, I wouldn't be able to prove it on, on video. But, I mean, it should, but I think it does as well. And to those who don't remember, Bling Saw was really not really modified other than this stuff out here in the muffler mod. Basically the cylinders as it came out of the box. It's one of the earlier versions of the 56 millimeter cylinder. And the ones I liked better, it still has free port, has all those issues, which make it a little bit finicky on the bottom end. Um, but as a saw, it'll cut some wood, make some chips. It actually cuts pretty strong. I like these things. I'm going to fold this one back into the channel because I just think it needs to get run. You know? So, yeah, you'll see these on the channel for the most part when I'm doing real work. But the focus for me this summer is going to be getting the big John threads going again. 
I've got the 920s, but I need to get some seals for them. And I want to see if I can get some 910s going. So that's why the 390 may not have a place because it's going to compete with those. The 288 is a customer saw, so it's going to go away. And I'm just going to keep this thing around and keep things spiced up because I like it. Simple as that. And isn't that what this is about? Having fun? You know, making the fun justify itself. In my case, for doing the firewood and things like that.
So there's 2 the 8th first job after a new top end. I think it runs good. Not sure it needs any more than what it got.